Welcome back. Uh, one of the things we sure love about this show is the music that we get to enjoy. Thanks to Trey Corley and the Music City Connection. Would you give them a great big hand and thank them? <laughs> Morton Klein is the child of Holocaust survivors. He's had a distinguished career in biostatistics at UCLA. But Mort Klein is best known as the president of the oldest Zionist organization on the planet, the Zionist Organization of America. The ZOA is the premier organization of advocacy for the rights of Jews to live securely in their indigenous homeland of Israel. He's been named one of the five most influential Jewish leaders in the U.S. He's often been cited for having accurately predicted the disaster of the Oslo Accords in which Israel gave up land for peace and ended up with less peace and less land. Please welcome the president of the ZOA, Morton Klein. Mark, so glad to have you here. Great to Thank be you. with you. The horrific terrorist attack on the Jewish people of Israel has shaken the world, but yet we see these crazy things happening, especially on the most elite college campuses where people act like they're supporting Hamas and it's Israel's fault. This has to be troubling for you as a, as a Jewish leader. Uh, it is shocking. And one of the reasons this is happening, I believe, is that the students, the kids, and really many people in America do not know the truth of the Arab Islamic war against Israel, the Jews, and the West. They believe that Israel stole this land from a sovereign Arab country called Palestine. There's never been an Arab country called Palestine. It was a region. In fact, Palestine is a Roman name. How could it be an Arab country if it was named after a Roman name? In fact, Arabs can't even pronounce the letter P. They can't even say Palestine. They say Palestine. And, and this was illegally controlled by Britain in 1917. And in 1937, they offered 95% of Palestine to the Arabs, 5% to the Jews for a two-state solution, 5% for the Jews, the Arabs turned it down. In 1948, the United Nations offered half of Palestine to the Arabs, half to the Jews. They turned it down. There were offers of statehood in, in 2000, 2001, 2008, 2010. They've been offered a state four times in the last 20 years, eight times in the last 80 years, rejected every time. When I asked prime ministers, how could they reject these extraordinary offers? Where, by the way, they offer them almost everything that they asked for. They told me that, uh, that the uh, Arafat and then Abbas and before Arafat, they refused to sign an agreement that said we accept Israel as a Jewish state. They said we will never sign that. So the issue is not about land. It's not about statehood. It's about destroying Israel. In fact, Hamas's charter, Article 7, calls for the murder of every Jew in the world, Article 7. Mm. Article 13 for the destruction of Israel. And uh, your audience should know, the co-founder of Hamas, Mahmoud al-Zahar, this week on the internet said, we want the world to know this is not just about the Jews of Israel. They're first, but next we're coming after the despicable Christians. This is a week ago. Mm. And then after we get rid of the Christians, then we're going to impose Sharia law, Islamic law onto the whole world. And Al-Azhar University, which is the most distinguished place of learning for Islam, issued a fatwa on October 19th, a religious edict, saying it is legitimate to kill every Jew in Israel. Hmm. This is a religious war where they will not accept non-Muslims in, in, in their midst, and their goal is ultimately to establish a caliphate, an Islamic uh, caliphate throughout the whole world. They control 644 times the landmass that Israel has. I know you've got a map. I want you to hold that up. The orange are the 23 Arab countries. The yellow, which you cannot see, is Israel, which is smaller than the state of New Jersey. Uh, the Arab world is six to 700 times the size of Israel. And yet they're saying Israel must give up more land. Israel is offered more land. They won't take it if it means accepting a Jewish state. In fact, Mahmoud Abbas, the head of the Palestinian Authority, for, has refused for 13 years to even sit down and negotiate. He won't negotiate. And this, yesterday, he publicly stated, we will not give up an inch of any part of Palestine, meaning Israel or Jerusalem. They have no interest in peace. They have an interest in destroying the Jewish state first. And as Mahmoud al-Zahar said, co-founder of Hamas, first the Saturday people, next the Sunday people. And I think Americans aren't aware no. that the target doesn't end with the Jews. 
what can we do? I mean, you have been one of the most outspoken voices, uh, crying in the wilderness sometimes, but you've been bold and, and talking about that this is coming from a long time ago. What can the average American watching us now, what can they do? Well, it's hard because they have to learn the truth of the Arab Islamic war against the Jews in the West. <laughs> One of the big problems is Israeli officials, I have to criticize them, Jewish leaders uh, and rabbis have refused to tell the truth about these issues, that there's no occupation of Arab land, there's never been an Arab country of Palestine, it was a region, that Jerusalem is not holy to Muslims. How about this? The Koran never mentions the word Jerusalem in the Jewish holy book 700 times. The majority of people living in Jerusalem from the mid-1800s until now have been Jews. And yet, uh, uh, when I ask Israeli officials to make these things clear, that this is a, 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 an interest to destroy the state of Israel. In fact, let me show you another picture. Uh, this is the emblem commissioned by the Palestinian Authority now uh, 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 for the Palestinian Authority. You notice it's a shape of all of Israel with a kafia over all of it, not just the West Bank and Gaza and Eastern Jerusalem. Arafat in the center, Kalishnikov rifle. Is this the, the, the commissioned emblem that one would choose if you want peace with the Jewish state? They show clearly their goal is Israel's destruction first, and then they want to go after America. And Iran says repeatedly, death to America, death to Israel. Death to the big Satan, America, death to the little Satan, Israel. You're one of the most effective and important voices that we have on this subject. It's why I love the ZOA. I love what you do. I love your effectiveness. And I want to say to our audience, the Zion Organization of America, the ZOA, is the most effective as well as the oldest pro-Zionist organization in the world. I hope you want to learn more about them and access volumes of information about Israel and what Morton Klein has talked about. Here's how to do it. If you go to Huckabee.tv, we will link you directly to ZOA and the conversations that we've had here.